Globe. I'm Stephen Benoon. You are watching Israeli News Live. We have breaking news, very serious news going on in Ukraine or a pre preparation, we might add. And I do believe that the preparation that the Ukrainian government, Kiev, is doing has every bit to do with why President Vladimir Putin has not been seen in public for over a week. To keep in mind, when news begins to break like this, this is normally secondhand news. But we're finding that Kiev is fixing to get a lot of lethal weapons from 11 different EU countries as well. The United States has already proposed sending lethal weapons. But the odd thing is, is this has been in the wake of an agreement, a peace agreement in Minsk that was signed on February the 12th and has seemingly to be enacted. But suddenly, we get an announcement on RT News that Kiev is about to get lethal weapons. And in fact, the Donetsk Republic's people's movement in the East are wondering why themselves. Is this the reason Vladimir Putin has had to cancel several of his meetings, trying to decide what Russia will do in regards to Ukraine and protecting its own citizens in the eastern part of the, uh, of the Ukrainian region there, the Donetsk region of the self-proclaimed Republic People's uh, Movement there. Let me read to you some of the articles so you can see why, because he definitely is not dead. In fact, on state-ran television, they've already showed one photo or one brief clip of him speaking with some of his advisors uh, there in his private residence. But no doubt, the president, Vladimir Putin, is under a lot of pressure because an entire world, it seems, is nearly against him. Now he's got to make a decision. Does he fight for Ukraine? Or does he let it go into the hands of the European Union? He's also, it's been said by his own, uh, by his own people at the Kremlin, for the news media to prepare for a briefing in the next couple of days, that he'll be out to speak about what's going on. So I do not believe for a moment, and have not believed for a moment, that he has died or been in a serious situation, other than perhaps an illness. But when it comes to war, especially a war that could involve Europe in the long uh, run, it's very serious, something that would require some time, solitude, in dealing with his own close advisors. According to the RT News, it says here that Ukraine has concluded deals with 11 countries of the EU on delivery of weapons, including lethal. President Petro Poroshenko told the country's TV he, however, didn't mention which countries will provide defensive aid to Kiev. The head of state has informed the Ukraine had contracts with series of EU countries and supply of armaments Inter Alia Lethal One, he has reminded that official embargo on the EU of the supply of weapons to Ukraine had been abolished, said a statement on the Poroshenko's official website citing his interview to the TV channel One Plus One. According to Poroshenko's statement, he is confident that the EU and the USA will support Ukraine with weapons if needed. As he states in a quote, if there are a new round of aggressions against Ukraine, I can surely say that we will immediately receive both lethal weaponry and a new wave of sanctions against the aggressor. He's referring to Russia, not even to the Donetsk region, but a direct threat to Russia. Now, if this is becoming publicly known on RT News, you can only imagine President Vladimir Putin has known about this several days in advance, and one of the reasons why we believe here at Israeli News Live that he has actually not been seen publicly, making decisions on exactly what they will be doing in the very coming days. He goes on to say, uh, we will act firmly and in coordinated manner. Ukraine won't reduce its defense capacity, said Poroshenko, adding that now intensive combat training is being held in the country. Intensive combat training. Interesting. We are mining the most dangerous tank directions and building uh, engineering structures under the new plan of, and projects. Making plans for war in lines with already a peace agreement that's been signed. The statement said that the decision of the U.S. President Barack Obama, who decided to supply Kiev with defensive weaponry, is crucial. This armament will increase preci preciseness and efficiency on Ukraine's weapons. In addition, thermal imagers and, ra and radars that detect motion help uh, counteract reconnaissance and subversive groups of the op opponent. The Ukraine leader said the situation in Donetsk and Lugansk regions is being gradually 
uh, de-escalated and added that the Ukrainian army hasn't suffered casualties for several days. But nonetheless, as the article goes on to say, in the meantime, the head of the self-proclaimed Lugansk People's Republic, Igor uh, Plotins Plotinsky, said he doesn't understand why Kiev is planning to buy weapons while the country is seeing a peaceful process. He was referring to a peace deal which was struck between Ukraine's government and the re rebels of the southeast country in Belarus, capital Minsk, on February the 12th, after almost a year of fighting. We have a question. Why do they, the Kiev authorities that is, want weapons if they the first to demand peace, Polinsky said. On Wednesday, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry confirmed that Washington was to send Kiev more non-lethal military aid, including drones and armored Humvees. We are today providing immediate some 75 million of additional non-lethal assistance immediately to Ukraine in order to help them in a non-lethal assistance, Kerry told uh, the Senate. Uh, also, Washington is now not the only state that openly announced military aid to Ukraine. The UK, UK said that it will send uh, 75 British military personnel in March who will offer medical intelligence and infantry training to the Ukrainian army. Poland has also said it is sending military advisors to Ukraine. You know, things like this continue up, especially some of the former Soviet states like Poland. It could end up into a much broader war than what we've already seen between the Ukrainian people fighting in, a, in their own civil war. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.